So we've seen earlier how to collect all of the links. So we download the website code with this line, store it into the variable website code, and we create a new object, beautiful soup, which is used to manipulate websites. Uh, th that's not the only one, only module you can use, because the, uh, the website code is simply a string. So you could either use another module, you could use the beautiful soup module, or you could use direct string manipulation. Uh, in this case, we have the beautiful soup module. So uh, let's say we want to collect all of the images. So we have an array images uh, on that website, and uh, we want soup to find all images. Specify like this. So this is short for the image tag in or the, the code in, in the website to display an image is something like this and then a certain file name jpeg. So this searches for the image uh, tag. Then we output the list of images. So we got a whole list here and it looks a bit uh, messy like this. So we create a loop to print uh, one by one every image. Now we got a nice list of image uh, specified, but still uh, it's surrounded with the tag. Then uh, it's, it's okay, but you might want just the file names, the direct file names of the images appearing on the website. And uh, we can specify additional thing here. Uh, we get what's ever in the source. So there we go, we have the direct links to the images on that website, all kind of websites. Apparently they're using WordPress, I recognize this, but it's totally unrelated. Um, and uh, then we have all images on the website, so in this case it's the technical side, but you might like, uh, I don't know, BBC or whatever. Then you have images on the, on the BBC site or whatever site you pick. So um, can pick a uh, certain uh, humor site or whatever. And then you get all the links to, uh, to the images that appear on that single website. 